Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's a little after 5 o'clock on May 9th, 2013. That's Thursday. And we're going to take a quick look at the S&P. Not m a few little things changed, but if you've been watching the videos lately, this really, think of this video as kind of an addendum to what's what we've been talking about already, because there's nothing really new in the chart. But even before we look at the little addendum video, we need to uh, remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in this video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research and make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I'm not a licensed financial professional. I'm just a guy that draws lines on charts. And here's a 10-minute chart. We had identified a couple things. Uh, in, in the chart. One of them is this uh, little kind of a flag-ish sort of a rising, fairly gently rising uh, pattern. You can see that uh, that the low, <laughs> excuse me, allergies. You can see that the low of this uh, pattern is 1613. <laughs> there we go again. There's going to be another one, I bet. 1613 back here on the third, and the high has been uh, 1635 or so set today. And so that's about a 22 point difference uh, from the high to the low, and, we, and it's taken five trading days to do that. So it, it, as impressive as it is that the S&P has been setting uh, new all-time records for the last uh, what, one, two, three, four, what, at least the last four sessions, today it gives some of that back. Additionally, this is a fairly, uh, what I would describe this is an intermediate uh, uh, trend line that's drawn over some peaks. Uh, they're not, uh, they go back to February and it comes forward with one, two, three, and now if today is uh, is just a touch and it can't break through, which it's kind of looking like, then this would be the fourth touch on this line. And there's other things that we could talk about, but you'll probably be better served by just going back to the uh, to the weekend uh, weekly review for this past weekend. But it's interesting to note we got a little bit of. Uh, uh, it, uh, got a little bit over this top line here in, uh, in, in both yesterday's and today's session. Late in the day, it broke down underneath the bottom line, rallied back a bit, and then broke down it a little bit deeper, and then rallied back to the line. Now, here's the deal. We, we were a little bit above this line up here. If this move but beneath this line does not get any deeper than about what it got today, which would be at about 1623, then this could get back into this uh, little channel. The reason I say that is we got over the line here and now we're below the line here, almost like just a little bit of oscillation, perhaps. So I don't want to say that this was a clear break of this line, and and I mean it, it it was it was just a little a little weakness. It could be that this is a breaking process, but a, just what we saw today is norm no more a break of this lower line of technical significance then getting over it was of technical significance in the past two sessions. But with that in mind, if the market starts to sell off by four, you know, four or five points tomorrow, and we start making some uh, uh, getting down around 1620, well, I think it's a safe bet that that line is in the process of breaking and that we will come down and test this lower green line, which is currently eh, not currently less than one percent underneath where the market closed today. So, if this line breaks, 
then uh, then I would expect to move down to test uh, 1600 or just a little bit below it. So again, that's pretty much it for today. You, you can see where there's not really that much more to add. Everything that, that I took more time with yesterday and especially over the weekend, um, we're kind of dealing with the same thing there. The only difference is in yesterday's video, we did uh, move a few things around as far as some of these trend lines and we did not have this green channel uh, identified over the weekend video. I don't think we did. I may be wrong, it, but this is a fairly uh, new chart feature too. So let's just see what happens going into tomorrow. This, uh, you see there, there's that little break and then a pullback exactly to that line. And guys, you can't make this stuff up. I didn't, I didn't move this line one whit. It just, there we go. We closed right on it as if to thumb, as if to thumb its nose at me and go, ha, ha, ha. Now you don't know what it's going to do. Finally, uh, just one more quick little thing. You know, it could be that we could uh, say this is kind of a, a little triple top. Uh, if it is, then it doesn't really, it, it really doesn't, uh, it's not a harbinger of much of a move, really almost not much deeper than what we've got right here. So I wouldn't worry too much, too much about this little, this little, uh, these little three tops here. Uh, it is interesting to note, however, that this might have been sign of a little, what do we call irrational um, enthusiasm. You can also see how we had a number of little uh, tributes, if you will, to this top line right here and right here uh, in the latter part of the day, almost like we got up to it, got over it, came back to it, tried to stay, and then it broke down actually fairly, fairly quickly as the as the market gave up about nine points once it got back underneath this top line. So I think I think that's going to do it for today. Watch this line; possible to get back into that channel. But uh, I still think this line up here is, it should be considered resistance. This may be a sign of it right here, but, but what I'm saying is what happened in relation to this bottom line today is maybe uh, an attention getter, but not, not necessarily um, at this point anything that you can place a heavy bet on. So there you go. That's your video for May 9th, 2013. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch this. Take care.